Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in. There are 34 different yield max ETF. Now, each one of them produce different rate of return. And the performance of each one of them is totally, totally different. Now, which strategy to use and which one to buy is a very, very critical decision because that decision is going to affect the outcome of your investment, right? Now, why do you invest? For me, the best strategy is the one that give me the maximum return, right? I want my money to grow. Grow like a tree, right? Grow, baby, grow, grow, baby, grow, right? That not that what we all want? If we're going to put some money in there, we want to make sure we get the highest possible rate of return. That is all we want to do when we invest, right? So in this video, I'm going to be doing is performing a detailed mathematical analysis of all 34 yield max ETF. And based on the math, we will see, okay, which one of these performed the best and which one of did not meet the expectation. Now, when you invest in it, there are so many different strategies you can use, right? You can just buy the stock itself. You can buy and hold. And also, since this pay the distribution every month or week, you have two options, whether you cash it out or you reinvest the distribution. Or if you are, you know, one of those guys who just like to flip around, you know, you just invest for the short term. So monthly flip or weekly flip, whatever it is, right? So all those strategies, right? The goal is to make the most of every penny that we're investing, right? We want to get the highest rate of return. Now, which one of these strategy and which one of this ETF produce the highest return? That is what I'm going to be doing it in this video. Detailed mathematical analysis. Something that you will not see anywhere else, right? So before I go into the detail of that, just a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician. What I'm going to be doing is I will perform a detailed mathematical analysis of every single one of them and see, okay, which one did the best, which one performed the best which one did not meet the expectation and that I will provide it to you and then it's your decision you decide which one meet your financial goal and also what strategy to use right so so if you go to the my YouTube channel right I mean you, you go over there you can see tons of video right if you're in trying to invest in Connie Misty you're just trying to flip it or you just want to hold it for a long time Whichever strategy you want to use it, I have a video for every single one of them. So go visit my channel. You will find all of this in there. And one more request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I am on a mission to have 1,000 subscribers before Thanksgiving. I'm almost there. I have like what? I have like a 600 and... 30 there, right? So we're pretty close to that. So please help me reach my goal. I would really appreciate that. All right. So now let's move on to the yield max ETF. Now let's take a look at this. Okay. So this is the yield max ETF, right? There are 34 of those. If you look at that, now I will show you in a second. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take every single one of them since I will be doing some calculation, mathematical analysis. So let's copy all of this and put it into the Google spreadsheet. I, I uploaded it over here, right? So what you see over here is ETF symbol, name, reference, distribution rate, yield, and expense ratio, right? So I uploaded everything over here in over here. Now what you will notice is that expenses ratio of most of them are uh, below 1% except Y Mac, Y Max, and Ulti that is over one percent. 
YMAX, YMAG is the weekly distribution. Ulti is actually a multiple stock distribution. So let's do this. Since I don't need this, you know, let's hide this so we can look at it clearly. Uh, the, all these are, we don't need this either. This is meaningless. This don't need this one. Let's look at all this. Okay, well, actually, let's see me hide all of this. Let's hide this column either. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, let's hide this. Hide this column. We don't, so we can look at it better. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. No. Date of inception. Even though it is no meaning in it, because what have since I'm doing it from the start of the year, the first trading of the year, and I do know that not we all buy the same time, sell at the same time. But what does what this is going to do is it will give you a benchmark, an idea, right? How does it work? And then you can make your own decision. So this is a, let's hide this one either. No, since I will be investing $5,000 hypothetical money in every single one of them is the same dollar amount. So let's hide that one too. No, so let's make it a little bit big. So easy to see. Now let's take a look at it now. All 34 of this, I uploaded it over here. These are the symbol of it. Now, we only need three things to do the calculation. And I will show you how to do that, right? So for the sake of demonstration, let's use NVDY, right? NVDY, this is the one that I will be using it for demonstration. So let's go over here, NVDY, right? So there's only three things we need, right? So well let's see this okay let's go the strange is some of my moss started cooperating with me so let's look at the right one or oh, let's see my moss is stopped cooperating let's do this thing over here Oh, that's not good. No good, no good. All right, let's do this. I mean, see, since I have it over here, but some of my mouse is not cooperating with me, so I cannot go to that tab. But then, yeah, let's do this. So we only need three pieces of information. Number one is the price, starting price of it, dividend earn, and the price which we have today. Now, let's take a look at it. NVD, right? We pick on that one. So what I like to do is I like to go to the Yahoo. The reason for me using Yahoo is because I can use the historical data, easy to see that. Okay. So the first trading day of the year, the price of this was, the first trading day was January 2nd, the price was 2213, right? 2213, right? 22. 0.13, right? Now, what does that mean? Since I am investing $5,000, right? On every single one of them. And the price of this ETF is $22.13. So what that means is I bought 225.94 share of NVDY. Now, I do know we don't trade in fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as it is just for the sake of simplicity. Now, now let's take a look at it. What the price of it is today? The price of it today is NVDY is price of NVDY today is 2587, right? So let's put it 2587 today price, right? Now, the third piece of information that we need is the dividend earned here today, right? Now, let's, if we go over here, right? Let's go over here, NVDY. Where is NVDY? Here you go. It's uh, NVDY here. If you look at NVDY here, okay, now let's take it. So these are the monthly dividend that's getting paid, right? Month of January, 62 cent. February, $1.53. This one 2.62, 2.60. All of these, right? 
So if you take all of these, right? I mean, let's take a look at this. Let's uh, let's take a look at uh, all of this, right? January two. Let's take over here. Let's put it over here, right? So let's. Uh, Okay, let's put it here. So if I add all these things, right, it comes to, what does this uh, thing comes up to if I add all of this? $18.35, right? So if I go over here, $18.35, the dividend, that was a knock. See, I invested $5,000. The price of the NVDY at the beginning of the year was $22.13. From that, I bought 226 NVDY. Now, the whole year long, right? If I invested it all year long, if I add all the dividend that was earned on this, right? January, February, all those was eighteen dollars thirty-five cents. Let's suppose instead of January, you invested in May, right? So you only earn this much of dividend, right? Like whatever it is, you can just add that up. So now, what does that really mean? Okay, now let's take a look at it. So I'm going to do this. Let's see, okay, let's see here, so my apology over here. All right, so let's take a look at it now. Dividend, all right, no, okay. Now, so what is the current value of the ETF, right? The today price multiply with total number of ETF we have, right? So what that means is $5,000 invested on the January 2nd, 2024 on NVDY is worth $5,845. Now, we have been earning dividend every month, right? I'm, I'm assuming that we're not doing the trip, dividend reinvestment plan, we're just taking the cash out. So how much we earn? What we earn over here is we earn eighteen dollar thirty five cents dividend per share, and we own two twenty six of this. Right? What that means? That means if the value of the ETF is fifty eight hundred dollars, and we earn four thousand dollar dividend, it means if you add both of this up, forty one forty five plus nine thousand nine hundred ninety. What that that means is. $5,000 invested in NVDY at the beginning of the year is worth $9,990. That is almost $10,000. What that means is $5,000 become $10,000. So that's a gain of 100%, right? So I use this as an example, right? No. I have done the, exactly the same thing for every single one of them, right? I mean, say, I came up with the same thing. I'll, I'll let, let's do one more thing. Let's say, just for the sake of, uh, let, let's do the, the, the Connie thing, right? Let's take a look at the Connie. So ETA price, okay, let's do the, the, the Connie thing. So, okay, so there's only two pieces. Actually, three pieces of information we need, right? Let's Connie. Let's go over here. Just I'm gonna do it quick, so I don't want to waste too much of your time over here. So, Connie, let's look at this. The on the first trading day of the year for Connie was January second. The price was twenty six dollar forty four cent, right? Twenty six dollar forty four cent. What does that mean? Since I invested $5,000 on Connie, each one of them is $26.44. That means I bought 189 share of Connie Rod. How much dividend I earned on that Connie? Let's take a go to over here. So if I go over here, Connie, here's the Connie. 
So if you look at this, okay, so let, let's take a look at the Coni. Here's the Coni. So you take a look at it, the dividend earned over here. So let's take a look at it. Let's, okay, so let's do this. How about copy? Okay, control. Okay. So if you look at this, okay, how much dividend I earned on Connie? Okay, so. $16.94, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, right? $16.94. So I got what? $16.94. Connie, $16.94 is a dividend that was earned on every single one of them. And what is the price of Connie today? Price of Connie today is $16.96, right? $16.96. What does that mean? So what is the value of the coin today, right? The stock price today multiply with the number of share we have it. Right? $3,200 means $5,000 invested in coin in the beginning of the year is worth $3,200 today. Now, we've been earning distribution every month on coin. So let's see. If we earn $17 dividend, every single one of them, and we have 189 over here, so we earn $3,200. So if we add both of these, the current value of ETF plus the dividend earned, so it becomes like $6,400. means $5,000 invested in Connie at the beginning of the year is worth $6,400 today. That's a gain of 28.29%. Now, I did two examples, right? I did one for NVDY, which is NVIDIA. The other one I did is Coni, which is Coin. So now you pretty much got an idea what it means. So what I have done is I went through every single one of them and did the calculation exactly the same way. Now, you will see one thing. Take a look at over here, right? Sorry. If you look at this 34 different ETF, right? Not all ETF perform same. Some of them are on the losing end. If you have invested money on MRNY, AIYY, SMCY, you probably lost money, right? But if you invested in MISTI, which is a MSTR, NVD, why, which is NVIDIA, Nifli, which is Netflix, you make money, right? So now the second question is, is this is just a one time or this is month to month is the same thing, right? So, so you probably got an idea, right? So, so if you look at this, so let's rank it all from one to, then let's do this. Hide from. So you look at this. Misty, right? Misty is the number one. So if, okay, now here I got it all. So if you look at it, so I've been doing this. Here it is. Right? So this is how I rank it, right? One, two, three, four. So all 34, if you do the ranking of this, the five best performing is over here, Misty, NVDY, Nifli, Facebook, MZ, right? And the worst performing is here, right? So, so you can see the five best and the worst performing. Now, the question is, is this just a one month or is a month after month is the same thing? So I have been doing this analysis for the last four months, right? I did it one for the month of August. You can see that I did the ranking of that, every one of them. I did it on September, the ranking of them. I did on October, ranking, and now I did it on the November. Now I want to take a look at it for the last four months. Is this just every month there's a, some best performing or the same ETF that performed 
best month after month. So let's take a look at the last four month analysis, right? So what I have done is I've looked at over here, November ranking, I took, take a look at the November ranking at Misty, NVDY, Nifli, Facebook, PayPal, MZ, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Take a look at that one. Now, if you look at the August ranking, right? On the month of August, Misty was, let's take a look at it, right? Misty was number two, NVD was number one, right? Misty was number two, NVD was number one. Nifli was three, Facebook was four. Nifli was, was three, Facebook was four. Now, same I go to month of September, right? Let's go to look at this month of September. NVD was first, Misty was second, Nifli was third, right? No. So the same way I would do for the October and November. Now, what does it tell me? It tells me that a well-performing, a good performing ETF keep performing same month after month. Now, Misty, NVDY, Nifli, Facebook, right? no matter how you slice it, you dice it, yes, number one will become number two, number two will become number one, three will become two, two will become three. There may be a change in the ranking of this one, but the top five will remain same. They will still be the top five best performing. Look at it, month of August, right? Yeah, two to one become one to two, um, four to become five, five to become six, but the top three, one, if you look at the Misty, NVD, and Nifli, yeah, it changed one, two, three, two, 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 one, three. The ranking go up and down, but they remain the part of the top three best performing ETF. What does that really mean? That means no matter how you slice it, how you dice it, these are the best performing stock. Now, let me ask you a question. If you have an option to invest, which one are you going to invest in? The, the one that does not perform well or the one that perform give you the best result? Yeah. Is Misty just up because the market was up for the last five days or so? Or Nifli was up simply because the market was up? No. If you go back and look at the last four months of data, it keep performing the same month after month, month after month. So what is the conclusion? A well, good performing ETF will keep performing good month after month, unless something drastic happened, like what happened to Supermicro, like, I mean, sir, you know, it, it didn't perform well because there was some negative event on that, right? So other than that, you know, a good one will perform good and keep performing good. So decision is yours. All I'm doing is performing a detailed mathematical analysis and provide it to you so you can make a well-informed decision. So and I hope you liked the video. If you did, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I need your support. So please subscribe to my channel so you can get this kind of video on real time. If you need more information, you like to know more about some other of them, like if you not need to know more details about Misty, YMAC, Connie, go visit the channel, Tesla. You will see all kind of analysis in their detailed mathematics analysis. No personal opinion, just pure mathematical analysis. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did, please share, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you soon with new video. Thank you so much, and have a great day.